Thank you so much. Welcome once again this afternoon, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so, so much for joining me every afternoon for the Word of God. We say the chapter a day, and we are praying God that God will enable us to do it for the next four years. Until we complete the Bible, we do the New Testament up to Revelation. Now we are in Genesis, and we want to do Genesis chapter 30. Um, God is good, and uh, it's so sweet to learn from God and to understand from God. So, let us read uh, Genesis chapter 30, and we will start from 1 to 43. It's longer, but uh, it's shorter in terms of words. Um, let us pray. Thank you, Lord, for this wonderful afternoon. Thank you for your blessings as we hear your word. Continue guiding us, Lord, and showing us your way. For this we pray, believing and trusting in Jesus' name. Amen. Um, Yesterday we heard about Leah, who was able to give uh, uh, Jacob so many children, but Rachel was not able to do so, because God made it impossible for Rachel, because uh, Jacob loved Rachel so much than Leah, but God favored Leah more than Rachel. So today we want to see what is happening, verses, chapter 30, verses 1 to 43. But Rachel had not born Jacob any children, and so she became jealous of her sister and said to Jacob, Give me children or I will die. Jacob became angry with Rachel and said, I can't take the place of God. He is the one who keeps you from having children. So she, she said, Here is my slave Bila, sleep with her so that she can have a child for me. In this way, I can become a mother uh, through her. So she gave Bila to her husband, and he had intercourse with her. Bila became pregnant and bore Jacob a son. Rachel said, God has judged in, favor, in my favor. He has heard my prayer and has given me a son. So she named him Dan. Bila became pregnant again and bore Jacob a second son. Rachel said, I have fought a hard fight with my sister, but I have won. So in, she named him after. When Leah realized that she had stopped having children, she gave a slave Zilpha to Jacob as his wife. Then Zilpha bore uh, Jacob a son. Leah said, I have been lucky, so she named him God. Zilpah bore Jacob another son, and Leah said, How happy I am. Now women will call me happy. So she named him Asha. During the wheat harvest, uh, um, Reuben went into the fields and found madrigs, which he brought to his mother Leah. Rachel said to Leah, Please give me some of your son's madrids. Leah answered, Isn't it enough that you have taken away my husband? Now you want, you are, you, you are even trying to take away my son's madrids? Rachel said, If you will give me your son's madrids, you, will, you can sleep with Jacob's tonight. If you give me, Rachel said, If you give me your son's matrix, you can sleep with Jacob tonight. When Jacob came in from the fields in the evening, Leah went out to meet him and said, You are going to sleep with me tonight because I have paid for you with my son's matrix. So he had intercourse with her that night. God answered Leah's prayer and she became pregnant at the boy Jacob, a fifth son. Leah said, God has given me my reward because I, have, I gave my slave to my husband. So she named a son Issachar. Leah became pregnant again and bore Jacob a sixth son. She said, God has given me a fine gift. Now my husband will accept me because I have born him six sons. So she named him Zebron. Later she bore a daughter whom she named Dina. 
Then God remembered Rachel. He answered a prayer and they made it possible for her to have children. She became pregnant and gave birth to a son. She said, God has taken away my disgrace by giving me a son. May the Lord give me another son. So she named him Joseph. Jacob's began with Laban. After the birth of Joseph, Jacob said to Laban, Let me go so that I can return home. Give me my wives and the children that I have earned by working by working for you, and I will live. You know how well I have served you. Laban said to him, Let me saying this, I have learned by divination that the Lord has blessed me because of you. Name your wages and I will pay them. Jacob answered, you know how I have worked for you and how your flocks have prospered under my care. The little you had before I came has grown enormously and the Lord has blessed you with has blessed you wherever I went. Now it is time for me to look out for my own interest. Where shall I pay you? Laban asked. Jacob answered, I don't want any wages. I will continue to take care of your flocks if you agree to this suggestion. Let me go through all your flocks today and take every black lamb and every spotted and all speckled young good. That is all the wages I want. In the future, you can easily find out if I have been honest. Then you can go check up on the wages. If I have any good that isn't speckled or spotted, or any sheep that isn't black, you will know that it has been stolen. Lavan answered, I agreed. We'll do as you suggest. But that day, Lavan removed the male goats that had stripes or spots, and all the females that were speckled and spotted, all which had white on them. He also removed all the black sheep. He put the sons in charge of them, and then went away from Jacob with his flock with this flock as far as he could travel. In three days, Jacob took care of the rest of Laban's flock. Jacob got great lunches of pop poplar, almond, and plain trees, and he stripped, striped off some of the bark so that um, the branches had white stripes on them. He placed three branches in Front, in front of the flock at their drinking trust. He put them there um, because the animals um, the animals mated when they came to drink. So when the goats bled in front of the branches, they produced young that was stripped, speckled, and spotted. Jacob kept the three separate, the sheep separate from the goats and made them face in the direction of the street and the black animals of Lavan's flock. In this way, he built up his own flock and kept it apart from Lavan's. When, he, when the elder animals were mating, Jacob put the branches in front of them at the drinking drafts so that uh, they would breed among the branches but he did not put the branches in front of the weak animals so Lavan had all the weak animals and Jacob all the healthy ones in this way Jacob became very wealthy he had many flocks slaves, camels, and donkeys. May God bless his word, and thank you so much for joining me this afternoon. 
continue following me on Facebook page, FM Martin The Source. Continue uh, uh, subscribing to my YouTube channel, FM Martin The Source. May God bless you. Thank you, guys.